Welcome to Friesen's. My name is Chad Friesen. One of the things we enjoy most is taking customers for tours of our facilities. But unfortunately, you're there and we're here. So we're bringing the tour to you. You're about to visit one of the most technically advanced printing facilities in North America, based right here in Altona, Manitoba, Canada. We think the Friesen story is a special one for several reasons. First is where we're located. Altona boasts a roaring population of 4,105 citizens. Friesen's Corporation employs about 400 staff. So you can do the simple math and see that nearly one out of every 10 people that live in Altona works for Friesen's. Not many small towns this size have a world-class, award-winning print manufacturer based in their backyard. Our small town personality is a key part of what makes Friesen's unique. Secondly, our company is owned by its employees. Everyone you see working in the plant today is a part owner of Friesen's Corporation. As employee owners, we take great pride in our business. I'm sure you'll notice that the plant is kept neat and tidy, that we use the latest technology and equipment, and that our owners have a careful eye for quality at every stage of the process. Our company produces high quality print products for several types of customers, including trade books, yearbooks, educational books, children's books, and history books. We've been around a while, since 1907 to be exact, D.W. Friesen started this business before band-aids were invented, before bubble gum, and before television. One of his phrases still guide us today. We'll be successful if our customers are successful. We can't agree more. So that's enough about us. Let's get on the tour. We're excited to show you around. Let's start in the front office. This is where our customer service specialists and other administrative staff work. This is the hub of customer communication and where your yearbook starts its journey to becoming a physical product. They will review all information and ensure we have everything you need before your book goes into production. When everything is ready, they send your materials on to pre-press department so we can start preparing your electronic files for printing. Before your cover, end sheets and pages move into production, they are reviewed by a pre-press planner. The planner takes your order and converts your requests into instructions for pre-press and production staff to follow as they print your yearbook. The planner will allocate the paper, get the material all set up, and will prepare a docket, which is a list of instructions that anyone working in production will need to know in order to produce your yearbook. There are a lot of different workstations in pre-press. We have staff that check files, people that check portraits, and technicians that can perform color corrections on your photos. Once your files are processed and approved, they will either be sent to the plate room to prepare for offset printing or may go directly to one of our digital presses. We also have artists that assist customers in getting their cover design just right. Original cover files generally need a little more work than page design, so we have dedicated artists that work on covers alone. The cover artist will help design a custom cover from scratch or just tweak your ready to print file so that it prints successfully and creates a beautiful yearbook. Once your files have been proofed and approved, they are ready for plating. If we print your yearbook on an offset press, we first have to make plates. The page files are sent to a plate setter to be created. The plates are loaded into the plate setter, similar to how you would load paper into your home printer, and a laser images the plates. The plate then goes through a wash, which cleans away any of the areas that haven't been lasered with an image. The plate then gets punched. The punched holes will be used later to mount the plates onto the printing press. The operator then hangs the plates on a rolling rack and we send them out to the press. Here we are at the offset press. The plates we just made get mounted onto each one of these towers. For a full color book, we print in CMYK, which is cyan, magenta, yellow and black. Each color is printed one at a time. We start from the darkest color to the lightest, so black is first, then cyan, magenta and yellow. The press works very similar to your printer at home. We feed paper in at one end, and the press uses a suction device to pull each individual sheet in. The press operator checks the pages and calibrates the ink. If the sheet needs more cyan, magenta, yellow, or black, he or she can adjust those colors to match exactly what you're looking for in your final pages. For smaller quantities, we can also print digitally, meaning we can go right from your digital file to a digital press. The digital press feeds from a roll versus the offset presses that are fed from sheets. The main advantage is speed. We can skip the step of cutting the paper and setting up all the plates on the press, so less preparation is required. What's unique is there's only one plate per side on the digital press rather than four. When it's finished printing, it's output onto a roll again. Because we print roll to roll, we have a roll unwinder. This quick step unwinds the paper and trims it into individual sheets so that those sheets can be gathered, folded, and loaded into our sewing machine. 
Because the digital press prints in four pages, the sewing machine grabs four pages at a time and collates them into 16 page bundles. Each one of those 16 page bundles are joined together to create a book block. You can see how quickly you can go from a printed sheet all the way to a sewn book block on the digital press. Something you'll notice here at Friesen's is that we have these large silver tubes running along the roof and you won't see any paper waste lying around. That's because anytime there's paper waste or paper trimmings, it all gets sucked up into these large tubes and brought over to a baler room. That's where they're formed into massive bales of paper. We fill up a truckload every week, which is then sent back to the mill and turned into recycled paper. Another item to point out are the misters on the ceiling. Not only do we keep our press room humidity controlled, we keep our bindery humidity controlled as well, which is very unique. This helps our paper stay at the optimum moisture level for printing and binding. When printing offset, we perform three steps to go from printed sheet to a book block. This is why it takes a little longer to produce an offset book than it does a digital. First, we have to fold the printed sheets on a folding machine to get our sections ready. From there, we have to take the pages to the collator, which allows us to put the folded sections in the correct order. Then we take them to the sewing machine where the folded sections are sewn onto each other to create a sewn book block. This is the cover department. The cover design you choose for your yearbook will determine the order in which we build it. Typically, the first step is lamination. The laminator applies a simple film lamination to your cover in either matte or gloss finish. To apply foil stamping to your cover, a die will be created to match your artwork. The cover sheets are then loaded into the stamper. Foil from a roll is pulled over the sheet and then the die squeezes down onto your cover using heat and pressure to foil stamp the cover. Once your cover is printed, we glue the printed sheet onto cover board to create a case or cover. The sheet and board are loaded at one end. The cover sheet is glued and then laminated to the cut board and wrapped around the edges. If you select embossing for your cover, we literally press your design into the cover board to give a three-dimensional feel. The embossing machine applies extreme pressure and heat to emboss the design right into the board. The book line is where we take all the parts of the book we created, cover, end sheets, and book block, and put them together to create a finished book. The sewn book blocks from the digital press or the offset press get loaded at the beginning of the book line. The first step is to compress the book block together to make it good and tight for binding. The next step is to attach the end sheets to the book block. Then it's time for back gluing. On the book block, you'll notice there are tiny little holes from sewing that run along the spine. Those holes need to be filled with glue. The book then runs through the heater and drying line to allow the glue to cure and to allow a little extra time to dry. The book is now back glued and ready to go, but it doesn't actually open yet. At this stage, there's a three knife trimmer which trims the book at the top and the front so that now we have a finished book block that you can flip through. We now add the cover to the prepared book block. The first step is to glue on a small strip of mall cloth, then head and tail bands. Now we're ready to put the cases on. The cases are loaded into the machine and are glued onto the book block. Your case is now on your book and ready to go. The book is pretty much finished, just a few steps to go. One of those is putting in the gutter. This is the little groove that runs along the edge of your book in order for the cover to open. If you have a dust jacket on your yearbook, it gets folded onto your book at this point. Then the books head to the stacking machine, which stacks them into boxes, labels them, and gets them ready to ship right to your school. Thank you for your interest in what we do here at Friesen's. We're very proud of our work and our company. If you're a Friesen's customer, thank you for trusting us with your memories. If you aren't, what are you waiting for? Our employee owners would love to build a quality yearbook just for you.